Well, I looked at my little uh, audio indicator and realized I was just talking to myself. It's uh, September 16th, 2017, and as we started out with the view there, we showed the sign of the annual Roxanne Dumas Luen Dragoon tournament. It's been going on for uh, more years than I'd probably want to admit to that they've been gone that long, but it's in honor of uh, Luan Dragoon and Roxy Dumas, uh, Trombley twins when they were growing up. They were both very involved in youth soccer and they both passed away from cancer in a relatively short period of time. That's from us. Oh, thank you. How many, many years is this tournament, Frank? 15th. 15th annual, wow. And we just got a donation from uh, uh, Frank Dumas. Uh, it's 15th annual tournament, so it doesn't seem like that, that long ago, but there you have it. This is uh, this game we're looking at here is a Pee Wee game. Looks like the athletic director is one of the referees here, Nick Trombley. <laughs> Cougar athletic director being called in to help out. It's the uh, Champlain, uh, I don't know what the Cougars I think they are, in the gray and in the orange it's Moore's Evolution. Uh, games are just uh, half hour long. We helped out on a granny cam game earlier. Ah, after this one we have to leave and uh, head for Shay Z for a varsity game. This is a, a great gathering for the entire community. It's going on here and at the at the Moores Elementary School. I don't think they utilize the, I don't think they have to utilize the Moore's Forks part. So it's between the elementary school and here are the games. The Granny Cam will be picking up a, a few of these games. Uh, I may or may not return. Also the Granny Cam hopefully will be here for a presentation. The, uh, while I'm in Shay Z, they'll be making a presentation to a long time coach Jim Armstrong and on behalf of the Moore's Booster Club. But there's games as we see here. This is the end of the uh, baseball field. And there are games going in that direction. And that direction, usually in that direction, and lots of kids warming up, lots of parents enjoying a hot dog. I think we have a corner kick coming up. Here we go. I'll give you the rosters in a moment. Temperature is in the 80s. It's number 16th in the 80s. It's a Hot day, we've got about three, four days like this in a row. We've had, just came uh, through a couple of days very similar to this. So it's a real warm September. Don't know if this is the new norm or looks like the gray team has scored. And uh, might be this fellow right here. If we can get a number on him. Uh, my guess is it was number nine, Caleb Brothers. So let's give you the Champlain team first here while we got them in front of us. Sophia Diesel, 13. Carter Garso, 12. Bryn Height, 7. Lydia Montroy, 15. Ashton Turner, 4. Tyler Yell, 8. Shea Juno, 6. Molly Yell, 14. Caitlin Cameron, 3. Ava Miller, 1. Lily Natashak, 0. Maddie Arnold, 2. Emma Gay, 5, Caleb Brothers, 9, Landon Miller, 11, uh, Dan and Jen Garso, uh, Dan Gay, Jen Garso, Gay are the coaches, and we know that 
generally calling the shots. She's involved in a lot of the youth sports. Uh, the gray team, I was told, won their first game against Ellenberg. That's available on the Granny Cam on the Hometown Cable website if you want to watch that game. Ellenberg and Champlain Rouse's Point. It's uh, on the Granny Cam. Check out uh, the Granny Cam videos on hometowncablenetwork.com. For more, jo Jolie Crone, 19, Caden Bourgeois, 7, Kevin Castine, 10, Layla Clausen, 12, Chase Shucknuck, looks like to me, is uh, 22, Kylie Martineau, 16, Owen Dubuque, 3, Ashlyn Souza is 12, Landon Arrow is 11, John Guerin Perkolo is uh, 9, Maya Poisson is 5, Luke Labarge 6, Matt Crone is the coach. And it looks like it's a orange throw. The Champlain throw. There you go. I think there's a total of, I think, a total of 12, four divisions. So the top two teams will continue. The bottom team will get a game against the bottom team in one of the other divisions. Go, go, go. So they'll get at least three games. And the top teams move on to play another division, number one against number two, that type of thing. And then uh, And then uh, the winners of that will face each other for a, a championship. And that takes care of two divisions, so I don't know if the, those division champions then compete with the other two division champs, I, champion. Don't know. But a lot of volunteer effort. A lot of work goes into this. A week ago, we uh, were briefly at the Shazy Youth Tournament. Next weekend, as we're recording this on the 16th, we expect to be in Rouse's Point for their annual tournament. Uh, there's always a conflict. What's the problem? Uh, so, uh, we expect the, uh, there's always going to be some kind of a conflict. Last week it was the Battle of Plattsburgh stuff going on. This week it's a varsity game at Shazy. And then uh, next week, I'm not sure whatever else I got in the calendar. I'm sure there's already something there. Another corner kick for Champlain Rouse's point. Go, go, go! 
going to be a corner kick for Moores. That one's out. That's going to be an orange throw. Get ready, Carter. Look alive. And kicked up by Franklin Ross's point. Had a chance for a breakaway. Couple defensive players back there though. To thwart their plans. And another gray throw. Orange didn't realize it was their throw. We'll see. What should be Carter Garcia? No, it says number four. Number four says Ashton Turner. I'd like to welcome everybody here today. We've got a pitiful $500 to be given away this afternoon. Do not have to be present. Uh, along with a nice place on board, donated by the Lagoons and several other items. Come on, and vote it, land it! Uh, plenty of food. We got the sausages, biscuits, cheese, and hot dogs. Also, that's the end of the first half. And also, JP Signs is here. They got some beautiful t shirts this year, sweatshirts. And one more note of interest please keep the kids hydrated. It's very hot today. And in the blink of an eye, we're ready to start the second half.
Once again, we're at the Loan Dragoon Roxy Dumas Memorial Tournament. Or is it the, no, it's the Roxy Dumas Loan Dragoon Memorial Tournament? And Sophia was Diso looking for the shot. And this is uh, Pee Wee Soccer, Moores in orange. Champlain, Rouse's Point, and Gray. 2 15 minute halves. And believe me, on a hot day like this, kids probably don't want to play more than 2 15 minute halves at a time. Right now it's a little after 11 a.m. And the temperature, she's arising. Uh oh, opportunity here for the, for the Champlain team. Oh, pass, and it goes out. All the way to the cameraman. That uh, ball is well inflated. Rock hard. There goes, he's going to take the kick. We are looking for a He's number 10, so let's see who that was. That'd be Kevin. Kevin Castine. Whoa, snuck by. How about that? So, more scores. Can't quite see who did it. Thank you. And yes, there is an overtime provision for this game. A five minutes, sudden victory. Not sure if it's just one, if they play two. I think one would be enough. Whistles from other games, so can't always tell when the whistle is coming from here. Orange throw. Subs coming in for Champlain. You check out the granny cam portion of the on the youth under youth sports. Just type in granny. Most of the time it's spelled G R A N N I E, not Y. But who knows? It might be up there once in a while with a Y. Just go to hometowncablenetwork.com. There's a little box there where you can search. Click on that box and then type in what you're searching for. Type in granny. I'm going to put the cam part. Just put granny. And all the granny cam games under the youth commission will be popping up. I stopped there by Castine. Orange throw. Drop ball. No, oh, free kick for Gray. Free kick for Gray. Yes, that's about 11 in the background. 
All the way back for the keeper. And Castano will punt it. Viewer supported local television hometown cable. Should you happen to be watching this, we need your support. Keep this programming coming. Well, this will be a goal kick. Let's see, get a number on her. It's number 19. 19. Who's 19? Crone, Jolie Crone. Not only athletic director, Nick Trombley, he's the varsity boys coach. Former Bobcat, now a full-time Cougar. And Diesel gets there in time. Good hustle. Nice pass. Uh, Diesel was offside, though. Diesel was way offside. There was not an orange shirt within <laughs> 10 feet of where she was. So if you're in a situation like that, this is for the youngsters. If you're in a situation like that, don't get involved in the play. Just move away, let the person who was coming in, let them uh, handle it, get back onside, and then get involved. But uh, don't go from the offside position into uh, going for the ball, particularly if you've got a teammate that's already in that area. Bicycles. The names of your teams in, so they can be eligible to win that bike. Thank you. Maybe a free kick for Morris. Also, we've got the 50 50 going and a raffle. Again, I want to emphasize we're going to give away a $500 bill this afternoon, those nice push lawnmower and other assorted items. Also, the 50 50 should be at a nice number by 4 or 5 this afternoon. Again, thank you. And here comes an opportunity. Not much a keeper can do on that one. So that's uh, number nine, Caleb Brothers. It's his second goal. So Moores will kick off. Five minutes or so left is our best guess. Re kick it. Traffic stopping event here. <laughs> Take a break from your work day to get over here. And farmer's work is never done, so if you wait till the work is done, you're never going to do anything, so you got to take a break when you can. Well, he's wandering over here to 
take a look at the game. I imagine he's looking for a particular game with a family member involved. There's a free kick. Gray throw. Orange throw. Taken away, booted down the field. What was that? 19? What was that? That's what that was uh, Crone again, huh? Orange throw. Offside is called. There will be a free kick for Morris. Changing goalies. What we got? New guy, who is it? No, he's not going to show us his number here. Well, we'll get it sooner or later. He'll have to turn his back on us sooner or later. There we go. Number three is a new guy. Owen Dubuque. And orange throw. Another orange throw. Sounds like an end of the game whistle. So, if that be the case, I think it's 3-1. I think the Champlain and Rouse's Point Cougars have won both of their games, so they'll be the number one seed. And either Moores or Ellenberg will be the number two seed, and then they'll head for the playoffs. So that's the way it was on this September 16th, 2017. You're watching viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. And we're here at the Roxy Dumas and the Land Dragoon Soccer Tournament, 15th Annual. Thanks for watching.